All right, so this lab is going to be focused mostly on, uh, you know, using BigQuery uh, uh, in a GCP console. We're going to go over a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to learn how to query a public data set. Uh, we're going to learn how to create a custom table. Uh, we're going to learn how to load data into a table. And of course, we're going to do uh, a little bit of uh, querying uh, uh, a table. So without wasting much time, I'm going to load it going to my GCP console here. And I'm uh, going to get started from here. And we're going to go on the big data. Big data. And I'm going to go to my big query here. And uh, one of the things we're going to do over here is to add data. Uh, add data and then explore you know, public data. And we're going to be looking for a particular data as an example over here. Of course, you're free to go through any one that might be of interest to you. In this case, I'm going to be going to USA Names. Um, and as I've shown you guys in the previous video, you can actually view your data set. Uh, simply by just clicking that and uh, you can put this one down and of course I'm going for USA name I can just type it over here uh, and you will see USA names here and select that and depending on what you are uh, out to achieve uh, you might be able to get some other additional uh, benefit from from this one. So if I this is my data set, when I expand it, I have these two tables underneath it, and then uh, I'm going to then go ahead and select uh, the one that is of interest to me. I'm just going to query the data set itself, not any particular table. Now I'm going to query. Uh, the data set and you can see I'm going to select name uh, and gender and before you run this query like I've told you in the previous video it's always good to kind of like uh, examine the tables right so you can look at the fields that you have over here check out the details for the tables and then preview it to see what it look like obviously you can see you have a row here the states the gender the year uh, the names of the potential baby and the number of babies or the instance of those babies that you have uh, that's for uh, 1910 uh, 2013 and this is 1910 current so the tables looks are uh, very you know similar of course they cover different time frame so in my uh, you know uh, query here I'm saying select name and you can go over here to look at it to see what you know these are the fields that you have over here so if you want to see the schema you can look at it over here so select name and select gender and i'm saying use some you know to hide the number and of course you have the number fields over here already as total i'm creating another column here uh from i'm selecting this particular table you can see 1910 underscore 2013 and then I'm grouping by, as we've talked about in the previous video, grouping by name and gender, and of course, and then order, you know, uh, by descending or ascending order. And of course, you can see this is descending order. So limit to the first, you know, top 10. That's what I want to see here. I'm going to run this query now. And you can see that's the top 10 names of the babies. You can see here between this range so you, obviously you can see that James is the highest you know most common names for babies um, for female uh, it's uh, Mary that's one of the most common name uh, as you can see over here uh, so that's very important uh, and of course we're grouping by so it's very very important for you to don't forget some of the stuff that we talked about in the previous uh, uh, exercise in terms of how we're grouping it and different between when you want to use group by and order by uh, it will help you sometimes to get uh, some of the more uh, interesting uh, you know output that you might 
uh, that you might desire to you know view a little bit later uh, there are some other stuff that we're going to be looking at a little bit uh, but for now we're going to just uh, you know leave it at this point so the next thing we're going to be doing right now is to create a custom table so we're going to be looking at that in so we're going to be looking at creating a custom table uh, one of the things that uh, you know we're gonna do is to download the baby name uh, zip to our local computer and I will show you a URL over here I'm gonna paste this URL and it's on the you know uh, Sierra security you know government website you can see the name over here I'm gonna post this one on my desktop and I'm gonna call it names so I've got a folder here Call names in my folder over here, and you can see you know names year of birth 1880, 1881, all the way down to 2018. So, we're gonna try to you know play around with this uh, data a little bit, uh, you know, later on in the class. Uh, <coughs> for our own purposes here. I'm going to be, you can say, let's play around with the 2014 data set. And sometimes uh, I'm just going to go ahead and extract so I can have the data that I want still coming up. And there you go. I have, so if I want 2014, for example. I can click 2014 and you can see the name, the gender, you know, the number, frequency uh, over here. So I've got the names and I've got a year here. So what I'm going to do over here now is to go ahead and, you know, enter these data. So come over here. <coughs> Alright, so come over here I select uh, under the resource over here I select my uh, project ID here all right on the right hand side over here so it's important for you to kind of uh, remember what we're trying to do we're trying to create a data set which allows us to uh, control access to the tables that we're going to put inside our data test so under the resource over here look under here you're going to see your uh, project ID my project name is micro you can drop down over here and you're going to see this is your project ID here and it's also located over here as well so select this my project ID here and I'll come over here to create a data set and on my data set over here I can call it uh, baby names if that's what I want to use for it call it baby names and uh, I can use uh, the location United States and uh, you can leave the number there for your default uh, uh, expiration uh, just leave it as a default default table expiration never uh, expire and stuff like that um, so that will give you something that looks like this and you'll go ahead and create a data set So we created the data set now you can see it's called baby names that's what you created but it doesn't have anything in it so the goal right now is for us to go and uh, upload uh, data or the tables uh, that we already have you know by creating it more or less we already have the data we're just gonna go over there and then you know uh, you know upload our data set to to name it as a table right so let's go on here so on the create table page over here that you have here come over here create table and then we're gonna have under the source here uh, you don't have to decide where your table really is you can create upload over here uh, if you already have it in Google storage somewhere you can do that uh, if you have it in Google Cloud Big Table, you can do that as well. In our own case here, we're going to click upload here because we have it on our local system. 
and I'll browse down <coughs> and on my desktop is where we put the names and you can go ahead and uh, upload 2014 table and that is what I've just done over here the format should be CASV uh, that's the format of the table so under the schema one of the things you want to go over here uh, is edit the schema you can edit as test or you can leave it as it is right now but I'm going to go ahead and edit this as test and I'm just going to define the field that are in this uh, you know schema as you know I have a, a section called name and I'm saying name is a string gender is a string and the count is an integer uh, so that uh, uh, this is going to get properly formatted so I've done that um, then after this I want to make sure that <coughs> all these uh, sections are properly defined then the table names now it's up to you to define what the name of your table is going to look like I'm going to call my own let's call it names underscore 2014 okay and I'm going to go ahead and say create a table That table is created now under here. I can go over here and you can see the schema that we created. Uh, you can go ahead and preview the table. And that's just, that's it. We now have a table. So uh, here's the details. If I want to reference this table, you can see that's my project ID. And when I want to call it, I'm not going to use this colon here, I'm going to use a period baby names from round 14. So let's run the simple query against this one here. I'm saying select the name, select the count from this, you know, uh, table where gender is M and then ordered by, you know, top five in the descending order. Go ahead and run it and it'll show me the result and that will take us down to the end of our, you know, lab exercise over here. So what you've learned in this exercise here is to learn how to create a, a query of public data set, create a custom table as we've just done, load data into the table that we created, and of course query the table. So here you can see Noah is the top, you know, baby name for male in 2014. If I want to look for female, just do this, run the same query, and you can see Emma. Top for female. Thank you, guys.